Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here at Platinum Loops. We've got a Logic Quick Tip. We're going to look at how to reduce vocals on an instrumental. So I have this song here. It's from Atmosphere. I only act like an asshole. Why don't y'all stand back? Let the man grow. I can't tell what town this is, but I know that bill was a counterfeit. So we're going to try and eliminate as much of these vocals as possible. Now the first thing we want to do is duplicate this track as well as the audio source. And then we'll throw on a gain on this track and just hit swap left and right and we'll go ahead and invert those phases. So as you can hear, it's uh, a lot quieter now. That's just based on the nature of what we're doing. So we could throw a gain on our master out. And just get a bit more juice. And one of the things you'll notice is that we're losing a lot of our bass end. Um, because that is in the center of our track. So you can do this. Throw on an EQ and then roll off some of the lows. The only thing about it is the more that you do it, the more of the original signal is allowed to pass through. Star, state to state, I chase fate, but my stereo ain't on my face. So you can experiment with that. Um, but if you are going to do the EQ, I recommend you put an EQ on your master. Just go to Audio Units, Apple, and uh, AU Graphic EQ. The idea here is to start removing some of the mids where uh, the vocals occupy that space. So as you start to remove more and more, you are going to lose more and more of your instrumental. Uh, so it's this kind of balancing act to really get the results that you want. So this has been an inside look at how to reduce vocals on an instrumental. As always, we hope you found this tutorial helpful, and be sure to check back and visit us at PlatinumLoops.com.